Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. We are in Macon, Missouri again, on our way up to Kirksville, Missouri, to pick up a load of bologna again, and we're gonna run it down to Springfield, Missouri. We are going underground again, baby. I really like that underground in Springfield because there's a lot of space, man. There's room for days, and unlike the ones in Kansas City area, man, it's like day and night. It really is. But just getting some diesel here, I have about three quarters in, uh, in reefer, but I'm gonna fill it up all the way anyway. Uh, getting some truck diesel here as well, and we are gonna be going up to Kirksville, baby. So a lot of you guys have said that there is no discount for reefer fuel. So what I'm gonna do is, I, I'm always gonna set that one on ground, pull forward and get my reefer filled up. That way I can get that discount. But I'm always gonna write down how much I put in a truck and how much I put in a reefer. That way whenever I do my IFTA tax, I know which one's which. Oh, and also I'm gonna start my reefer right here because I got about 45 minutes to get up there and we're gonna let it pre-cool to 34 degrees. Alrighty, got my receipt. It is time to get out of here, my friend. We are going to the same place like last week. I only did one load last week because something was wrong with my truck and I had to take it to a shop. But looks like they have fixed it. So it seems very good now, it rides very freaking smooth. For some reason, rear differentials were shifted uh, to the side. I talked to the guy at the alignment shop here in Columbia, Missouri and he said it is because somebody put the shims in where they, were, where they are not supposed to go. And the place who put the shims in at the wrong spot is Pomp's Tire in Kansas City, Kansas, uh, right there by the Quick Trip, by Sam's Distribution Center. So if you ever think about taking your truck for alignment there, do not do it, buddy. And I just want to thank all of you guys for subscribing, for liking my videos, for commenting. I really appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the reefer tips because I don't know anything about this reefer business. I just bought this thing like three freaking weeks ago, you know, so I'm, I'm a rookie when it comes to this stuff. So thank you guys so much for everything, for all your suggestions and, and whatnot. I really appreciate it. My experience on YouTube so far has been excellent in this past five or six months that I've been making these videos. I never thought I'd be making YouTube videos, man, because I'm, I'm a very shy person and uh, that's why you don't see me on camera that much. There's a lot of good people on here. There's also some trolls that come on here and try to say bad stuff to me, but buddy, you have come to a wrong fucking place, man, because I am not like some of these other channels where I'm just gonna be like, oh, please don't, oh, thank you for watching anyway. No, motherfucker, I'm gonna cuss your ass out because you asked for it. You come on here, you try to troll me. Ah, uh -huh. it doesn't work like that, buddy. It does not work like that, man. So everybody's welcome, even trolls. But just, if you're trolling, you say something bad, just know that I'm not gonna be quiet, buddy. I am not the same like these other guys, man. I am not the same. And maybe some of these other YouTubers, the, the reason they're not responding to trolls is because they're not reading the comments, but I read every comment. 
I get notifications in my email and I also get notification in my YouTube app. So I see every comment and I respond to 99% of comments. Why not? I like talking to people, you know. So yeah, if you leave a comment, I will respond to you 100%. It might not be the same day because I'm very busy. I'm driving, I'm trying to do this, I'm home, I'm trying to do that. So it might not be instant, but I will respond to you 100%. So once again, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for subscribing, for commenting, liking my videos. And even if you are not subscribed or you're just watching without liking, without commenting, thank you everybody. I really appreciate all of you guys. I really do. So, But anyway, that's a lot of yapping. Uh, let's do some driving, buddy. Alrighty, we got the door right away. I didn't have to wait like some of these guys, but yeah. Well, it looks like it may be another lucky day for me, buddy. Because I got the door right away. He said he might have to send me over here to uh, this lot where I was already at. But whenever he called to check, they said door seven. So here we are, my friend. I gotta go check in with him again and then we're gonna proceed to our door and again here at the guard shack is that very pleasant young feller thank you dude He's, he said he was in high school back in 2017 when that other eclipse was going on uh, he's trying to record it on his phone as a time lapse or whatever uh, He's not having much, much of a luck. All right, door seven. Looks like we're gonna be between this green and red truck. Looks like this backing job just got a lot easier because this lady is gonna be pulling out and I'm gonna be pulling in right next to her. It's very chilly in there, buddy, very chilly. If my AC ever goes out in my truck, I'm just gonna get my mattress, put it right here, and go to sleep inside a reefer trailer. I did a washout on this thing after I delivered the last load. And I don't know, man, for some reason, they didn't do a very good job. Still, we have a forklift tracks. From last time I was here, but I think that should be okay. But it's not okay. If you pay, if you pay the money, it should be done 100%. All right, I'm not gonna forget to chalk the wheels this time. Okay, that's good enough. How are you doing not bad, how are you guys? All right. Looks like it's my lucky day again, huh? I didn't have to wait out there. So I, I know. <laughs> I just ask wh whoever loads it last time, whenever they loaded it, I don't know if you remember, but they put like airbag and it blew up my trailer from the sides like a balloon. Yeah. So is there a way that they don't put that airbag on there? Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Alrighty, we got her backed in. I've checked in with the shipping. Got a red light already. I'm gonna go slap a trailer number right there on the corner by that uh, reefer display thing. Uh, I didn't have a chance to do that. But I mean, I did have a chance, but I forgot about it. Or maybe I was just lazy, but either way, we're gonna do it right now. I asked them not to put that airbag on there, or even if they do put it, don't blow it up all the way like they did last time. If they do that before I leave, 
before I close the door, I'm gonna jump up and I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna stab the air balloon with my knife. And uh, yeah, but I think they should, they should not put it on this time, but I guess we will see. I usually, I usually put my number all the way up whenever I buy a trailer. But this time, I think I'm just gonna put it kind of maybe, maybe right here or just above that display with the letter T on there. I guess we'll see, I don't know. All right, I got the green light. I just gotta wait for the phone call to go get the paperwork. I don't see the trailer blowing out. Looks like they listened to me and they did not put the airbag or they put it in and did not blow it up like last time. I right over here, his trailer looks the same way like mine did last time, which is not good in my opinion. I mean, I don't know, I'm just a dumb truck driver, but it should not be like that. Yeah, I don't know if it's visible in camera, but I can see it. Yeah, his trailer is blown out really bad. Yeah, fuck that, man. These places do not give a shit about your equipment, guys. They don't give a damn. They're not the ones paying for it. You are. So, you gotta watch out for these motherfuckers. All right, and that's how it should be. I think they did put an airbag in there, but it's not blowing out much, just a little bit. Which is fine with me. Come on, fucker. All right. That's why you should wear steel toe boots in case you need to kick that fucker out. Is it blown out? I think it's still blown out a little bit, but I can't see very good because the doors are open. It's still fucking blown out. I'm gonna pop that fucking hair back. <clears throat> Fuck that airbag. I don't need this shit. Yeah, it'll be good. All right. All righty, well, we are good to go, my friend. I feel bad for all these guys waiting, but hey, what can you do, my friend? I asked the guy if there's a way, whenever the guy was sealing up my trailer, I asked him if there's a way for them not to put the airbag on there, and he said, uh, no, because it's a DHL thing or whatever. So I'm like, well, okay, buddy. I popped that motherfucker anyway. So fuck you and fuck DHL because DHL will not be paying for my trailer if something gets messed up. So, yes, sir. And yeah, the trailer is still blown out. It's not nearly as bad as it was last time, but I don't like it. I still don't like it. So next time when I come here, I don't know, man. I don't know I'm gonna tell them, guys, come on, the fuck, you know? You don't have to blow it up that much, man. Just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit for the airbag to stay in there and not for the airbag to move all the product closer to each other because there's not big of a fucking gap there it's only about i don't know like about five or six inches so where is the pallet gonna go it's not gonna go anywhere and if it's if it gets shifted to one or the other side it doesn't have very far to go so i don't i don't see what the problem is right there you know what i'm saying but hey
and we are back in Macon, Missouri. I wouldn't normally book this kind of load because it delivers tomorrow at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. But after I deliver, I'm just gonna come back home and then I'm gonna leave out again on Thursday sometimes. But I think they will take me in early. So I don't know, I have not decided yet if I'm gonna go down there tonight or maybe early in the morning. Well, I don't know if they're gonna take me early, but I have a feeling. I have a feeling Ooh, that tonight's gonna be a good night. in Missouri I come here a couple times a year there's a lot of Amish here and I get the whole lamb I skin it and I put the whole thing on rotisserie and I roast it slowly over fire it is very freaking delicious buddy I tell you that Every time I'm roasting a whole lamb, I post it on Facebook and I tag PETA in it and a bunch of vegan groups. I get a lot of hate, but hey, I'd be very angry too if I had to eat grass all the time, you know. Alrighty, we are in Camdenton, Missouri. Stopped here to take a short break. Well, not really a break, just give me a drink or whatnot. And yeah, it's time to get out of here. But first I'm gonna go around the trailer and check, make sure everything's good. And then we're gonna continue down to Springfield, buddy. in Lebanon, Missouri.
Alrighty, here we are. Let's go check in and see if we're gonna get lucky tonight like we did last week. Right there, drivers must provide their own pens. Hello. Good How you doing, bud? Good. Good. Right. You guys can get down to building ten, door thirty or twenty-six. Do you know where that's at? You said door. Uh, twenty-six. Twenty-six. Yeah, I know. I know where it's at. There's that for you. Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you. You, you too. And once again, we are being given a door immediately. As soon as I got here, about fifteen. 16 hours before our appointment time which is freaking great so let's head on down in the caves hey doggy you got a problem little buddy huh you mean mugging me or something hmm you better watch yourself little buddy Yeah, I'm on my way to door 26, building 10. Thank you. It is very strange to me that they ask you to leave your reefer running underground right here. Because a lot of places they want you to turn your reefer off. Like for example, Carthage, Missouri. They want you to shut your reefer unit off. We're gonna stop here, go check in the office real quick. All right, well, I didn't have to drop first last time when I was here, but she wants me to drop first and then come back, bring the paperwork in, which is very freaking stupid, but it is what it is. I am totally fine with their dumbass rules because they are taking me very early buddy so I cannot complain too much my friend let's see where the door 26 is did I go too far probably nope it's right here to my right Oh, buddy, way too close. Back up, Gary! 
Back up, you dumb fuck. <laughs> you wanna break down the whole freaking cave on top of yourself? Stupid idiot. Alrighty, so right here we are backing up with our doors closed. They're gonna break the seal and open the door from the inside, which I do not mind at all. I would just like to see if anything happened since I took that airbag off. Well, I didn't take it, I just put a hole in it. We gotta approach the dock super super slow. We don't wanna damage our trailer. Let's get these wheels chalked. Okay, looks like we're good over here. We have to leave our reefer running. Looping around. What a stupid rule, bro. Last time it wasn't like this, but hey. Fuck it, man. It is what it is, buddy. Alrighty. Let's go in again. Alrighty, let's do another U turn. And go back to the top. Looks like they are still digging this freaking place over here. They have like a huge yellow tarps covering something.
open sesame. I need to get out. <laughs> ASAP. Alrighty, just got a call that the trailer is ready. So let's go grab it. Thank you, Craft Foods. You guys are freaking okay. Alright, into the hell again. Or hellhole. Catch a break, my friend. Alrighty, well, we are finished here. Thank you, Kraft Foods in Springfield, Missouri. Much, much appreciated. I don't know if you guys can deliver early as well, but they sure will take you if you are bringing stuff from Kirksville, Missouri. They will take you way in early, like 14, 15 hours early. So thank you very much Kraft Foods and thank you all for watching and following along. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your comments, 
for all you guys subscribing. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Please stay safe out there and take care of each other. And I will see you in the next one. We're gonna go to the top of this hill. We're gonna sleep here, get up in the morning, and get some drone footage of this place right here. See what it looks like from the sky.